Welcome to our next WGN Radio Recess. We are at Aerial Dance Chicago here on Irving Park Road with Karen Fisher Doyle. And we're gonna learn a little bit about what goes on here. I noticed she's wearing a harness and behind me are some ropes and some hoops and some trapeze. So tell me what we have in store for today. Well, we're gonna take you through some walks of our classes here. We have silks. We're gonna give you a lesson in beginning silks. So I've never tried this. Yes. Um, I don't see myself as an athletic person. Do you think I'm going to be able to do this? Absolutely, yes. We get everybody engaged to discover their human potential, so we're going to get you up on there and see how you do in Will here. I be flying? Yes, you will be flying today. We're going to get you flying on rope and harness. Help, I'm only a foot off the ground. I it feels so dangerous. We have Lauren Reed with us here. She's one of the instructors. She's also the development assistant. And she made us work our muscles. I don't think I ever used certain muscles that I use today, Lauren. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you need finger muscles for Ariel, and nobody practices using the finger muscles. So. Yeah, even the warm up was kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, you warm up like this. Because, I mean, I'm sure, like any sport, you, you could hurt yourself if you don't do it correctly. Yeah, safety is really important here. Make sure you're really properly warmed up. And there's a lot of cross training that dancers do, too, to make sure they're in shape. It's, it's an amazing thing. I've never thought I would do something like this. Don't try this at home, guys, please, please. And actually, safety is very well appreciated because I, I'm not a sumo wrestler, I'm actually wearing this harness. It's a rock climbing harness, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's actually some similarities between the kind of muscles that are used and some of the equipment that we use. So this particular harness we use for something called rope and harness. Um, you use a carabiner, you clip into a rope and you spin around, which maybe you'll see a little bit today. You know, we were here maybe like 45 minutes and we practically got it done and it's, it's like yeah. therapy. I like that you said 45 minutes, that was it, and you guys got something <laughs> done. Um, Ariel is really approachable and we make sure that Ariel is accessible to everybody. There was a point in time that I was sweating up a storm and I was just hanging myself. It was, it was incredible. What ages can people do this? We take um, any ages, so we encourage everybody to join it. And you guys only do this, the, ro uh, the cloth, or the fabric, they call it mm -hmm. fabric? We call this fabric. So these are, this is a set of silks. We do a lot of silk work. Uh, we have rope and harness also. We have a couple other apparatuses. We have some liras, which are giant hoops that we hang from. Um, and we have bungee cords as well. I would normally see these like in resorts and hotels where people uh, are having dinner and they have somebody just, mm -hmm. you know, hanging in there and at the circus. Maybe I should apply at the circus now after the after today. Maybe you get a part time there. 45 minute class, so you're ready to go. <laughs> just another 45 minutes. Thank you so much, Lauren, Thank for having you. us here at uh, the WGN uh, staff over here. So if people want more information, they want to try, they want to see pictures, where can they find you? You guys can come to our website at arieldanchicago.org that has all the information for our classes and for upcoming performances and you can even see some video clips too.